Burnt toast. Burnt toast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something going on, and people are believing that Steve McRae created the Great Debate Community here on YouTube, and it's a lie. It's a big lie, you know. If you want to know when the Great Debate Community was created, it was back in 2007. I started out as an atheist in the Great Debate Community, but it wasn't Steve McRae that created the Great Debate Community. It it was older people, man. Um, but it definitely wasn't Steve McRae. In fact, I haven't heard about Steve McRae until like four or five years ago. And he like decided I'm going to take the Great Debate and like steal it from people and I don't know why he leads people to believe that he was the one who started the Great Debate Community. No, it started in 2007. Um, I was one of the members of the original Great Debate. Uh, Steve McRae wasn't even there. Wasn't even mentioned. No one who knew who fucking Steve McRae was at that time. There was like a first tier in the Great To Be community, and then there was like second tier. Um, I was part of the first tier, but then again, I was I was involved with YouTube since its conception. But I, I mean. Yeah, it wasn't Steve McRae. It definitely wasn't Steve McRae. And if he's leading you on to believe that, he's a li liar. And, um, you clearly have not learned your YouTube history. <laughs> in the Great Debate community, but Steve McGray did not create the Great Debate, or the Great Debate community. He stole it and took credit for something he had nothing to do with building up. In fact, he stole that name years after it was already established. A few years. Five, five, six years. The debate, Great Debate community was already established before even Steve came in. That's who you stick up for as a feminist, not the women who were victimized and treated like shit. AKA Steve McRae's girlfriend. You're an asshole. Surely an asshole. You're not a feminist. You're a liar. Because if you were a feminist, you would be sticking up for the woman. You would be telling that fucking Nate Brody to shut his goddamn mouth and to let the woman be free and speak how she feels about her own fucking assault. And not, not, oh, I'm down. It's happening because it did it in it. Fucking piece of shit, Nate Brody. 
I hope you get COVID, Nate. You rape enabling piece of shit. He just took the name and ran with it because he's an asshole. I'm glad you heard that um, history lesson from a first person. It you rape enabling piece of shit.